The hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. How are you doing? Um, I'm just polishing up my uh, Bowie at the Beeb Silver Sales Award. Uh, you've got to look after these things, haven't you? Uh, that's it. Can you see it? It's blooming nice. You've got my name on it. Um, but I'm doing it with uh, some antibacterial stuff because I don't want it to catch a cold. Uh, but anyway, yeah, how's life? All right. You may wonder why I'm wearing shades in the house, uh, but there is a good reason for that. It's because I'm a right blooming poser, me. Uh, anyway, so yesterday, Jason put this one to you. In 1969, David Bowie did a cover version of Leslie Duncan's Love Song, but which future star recorded the same song two years later? It was Reg Dwight. Or Elton John, if you want to call him Elton John, but everybody knows him as Reg Dwight, so I'd stick with that if I were you. Uh, so on to today's question. So which song performed by Danny Kaye in the 1952 film Hans Christian Andersen did David say was a big influence on Ashes to Ashes? I'll give you a game just in case you weren't paying attention. Which song performed by Danny Kaye in the 1952 film Hans Christian Andersen, which is a great film and it's a great song as well by the way, did David say was a big influence on Ashes to Ashes? And Robert... That'll be Robert Hughes. He will be along tomorrow with the answer. All right, and let me get back to this now anyway, because you've got to look after your clubber, haven't you? Okay.